Hello everybody, this is Abraham on Nashor Computer Services. What we got here is a <coughs> an iPad that is blocked by remote management software. So I would get this company, it's called iActivate.host. iActivate is the company name. And uh, you go there and uh, you plug in your information like uh, the uh, serial number for your iPad and uh, download the um, unlocking software. And it costs uh, $45 as of today, which is uh, uh, what's March 2018. And the way it works is let's minimize this. <coughs> and plug in our iPad <coughs> so once the iPad's plugged in the iTunes should recognize that it's plugged in Sorry, this computer is not the fastest one in the world. Okay, and it should recognize that the iPad is plugged into it. But as of right now, I don't see it recognizing that, which could simply be our, my cord isn't plugged in correctly. Okay, so there it is. So the iPad is recognized and uh, it's going to start prompting for setup, but it won't go anywhere because of the activation lock um, by remote management. Okay, so we're going to minimize iTunes and start the program that. Uh, <clears throat> was supplied by the iActivate. So it has this, I've paid the money and they register your uh, serial number. So we're gonna just start the bypass. And it's doing right now some kind of device preparation. So then your iPad flips and clicks and goes over. You get a message that uh, the device has been successfully bypassed, MDM has been successfully bypassed. The iPad goes through the setup and uh, it works after that. Now here is a problem that uh, I've discovered which is um, it depends on your um, how it is that you want to take it. Okay so once you activate the iPad, the iPad works. Okay, I don't know yet if it works 100%. Uh, I do know that if you reset your iPad, you will have to go through the reactivation process with the company. That's basically how I'm doing it right now. So this is the second time that I'm reactivating the iPad. So let's click on that click continue and I can let's set up later as you can see the prompts on the iPad are different right now I just want to get it quickly too so we're not going to be doing any of that 
and set up later. <clears throat> okay, so iPad is set up and it works and it will go online and do everything you want it to do. Uh, like I said, I haven't had the time to actually play with it. I will. Uh, I do know that if you go through um, setup and I believe, let's see. Reset. Oh, reset. And if you do the erase all settings, it will go into the lockdown mode again. So that lockdown is uh, in the memory of the iPad permanently. This company has figured out a way to um, bring you the ability of using your iPad, um, but it's not a complete 100% unlock. And like I said, it's not free. But it does work. And this iPad came from a company. Uh, it was basically uh, the person used it at the company and then they gave it to him, but they did not unlock it. So it was working after he left the company. And once we did the reset, the iPad locked itself. So he didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. But uh, here is a solution for somebody who just wants to use the iPad and uh, it does work. Um, you know, do remember, <clears throat> I can't stress it enough, you need to remember that if you reset the iPad, you have to go through the unlock procedure again. Um, the unlock procedure will be... Um, you got to be careful when you do the reset of the iPad. You may have to uh, reset it and then wait quite a long time for iPad to refresh all of its memory to the original state, the original locked state. It seems to me that the, um, the management mode on the iPad is an overlay. And... Uh, this company has figured out a way to disable that overlay and push it back. Uh, let's see. So if we go to Safari and let's visit Apple. And there you go. It works just fine. Uh, this particular iPad has a... Uh, um, SIM card in it. I don't know if it works. Oh, let's check. No, it's not what I wanted. Let's see. I don't use iPad. Forgive me. So let's go to the Wi-Fi. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi. Go back here and see if the LTE still works. Well, that's weird. Um, somebody's paying for it. <laughs> um, that's cool. Uh, you get a usage of the LTE network on this iPad um, and somebody's subscribing to it. So, not all lost. Um, I will be testing this iPad just to see how long it will survive, how long it will work before it locks itself back up, before you know the system finds that the iPad is rogue iPad. But uh, I like it. So if you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I do have these weird problems posted on YouTube regularly. Um, and if you choose to use it, by all means, I will put the description down in the uh, link to the company down in the description. And I was just searching for a solution, and this is the company that promised that they will do it. So somehow they are able to do it. And you don't have to use Apple like I did to unlock. So you can use Windows computer. But you do need 
iTunes installed so that iTunes recognizes the iPad that's plugged in. Um, <coughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, you download the software. If you try to run the software without paying them, they will say that uh, your number is not in our database and we are not going to, they'll forward you to pay. Um, looks legit. I got the emails, I got the receipts. Uh, company looks pretty solid. So uh, here is a review for the company. Let's give them a good review. So we'll give them five stars. It should be like 4.5, you know. But uh, they did fix the iPad. So for $45, you get use of the iPad that might be a lot more expensive. So we'll just say good product. Works well. Remember to remember. reactivate if iPad is reset. And let's see, there's got to be a submit button somewhere here. Oh, come on. There. Oh, I need to verify. Okay, I'll verify it later. So, there you go. Um, thanks for watching.